They changed the name of this thrift store. What does that mean? Hello, you all. I'm here in Minnetonka, Minnesota. I'm going to go into Able Light Thrift Shop. It used to be called Bethesda Thrift Store. I have no idea what that means, but we'll find out inside. I'll see if I can get a little more information about whether or not their mission has changed. I'm guessing it's still a charity thrift store, but I have no idea. So let's go ahead and go inside and see what we can find. Here we go. The first change I noticed immediately was that they had all of their linens nicely folded and hanging on little hangers on a rack, which makes them a lot easier to shop through. When the store was Bethesda, they were kind of all in piles in the back of the store, much harder to look through. So I definitely think this was an improvement. And one of the first things I thought about buying was this little handmade hot pad. It looked like it had never been used for $1.99, but I wasn't sure about all the yellow. I recognize these immediately as Eldrith Pottery. That's a potter out in Pennsylvania. I have a piece of Eldrith Pottery that I got in 1998 when we went on a honeymoon trip there. They had them priced at $12.99 and $19.99, which is definitely a vintage shop price. And this was a piece of Williamsburg Pottery for $9.99. Good price on that. Not a thrift store price, but a good price. I thought these were really pretty. They're Syracuse China, but much thinner than restaurant wear. So I don't know if they're intended to be restaurant wear or home wear, but I thought the pattern was really pretty. I'd never seen these before. If these had been colorful turkeys, I definitely would have purchased them, but they were chickens and so not what I was looking for. I was thinking this might be a nice serving fork for Thanksgiving. That is an old, or at least an imitation horn handle. I thought it was kind of cool, but it did have a little rust on it. I didn't want to get stuck having to clean it off every time I wash it.
This was a cute little turkey cookie cutter. I actually already have this one in orange, but I was looking to see if there were any others that I wanted to add to my collection. And then I do also sell cookie cutters in my little vintage booth at the Pink Elephant. So I always keep an eye out for any cute vintage ones. I was checking out this candle snuffer for 99 cents because I do have a small collection of these at home. Chris and I had just been discussing that we don't have a lot of nice knives anymore for our Thanksgiving table. So I was just seeing if there were any matching, but they all seem to be singles or possibly pairs, but that was about it. Here's a thrift miss. This little lemon dish would have been really cute for my daughter Maddie. She does lemons in her kitchen. And I think that would be useful for like putting out little hors d'oeuvres or candies when she has people over. Okay, what do you think this is? Do you think it's for tacos? <laughs> that was the only thing I could think of. I'm not sure why you'd make this pretty flowery plate for tacos, but what else could it be for? Let me know. This reminded me of the pumpkin tea set that I found at the bins a few weeks back, but mine was way cheaper. This was $3.99. I wasn't sure what this was at first. It just looked like old pottery, and which is why it caught my eye. But upon a further review and closer inspection, it's some sort of oil lamp. So you'll see here, that is a wick, which I thought was really neat. It did smell very strongly of some type of fuel. So I didn't want to bring that into my home, but I did think it was interesting. I was trying to figure out the scoop with this little figurine. I thought she was super cute, but it turns out that someone glued her into this old creamer, which is kind of neat. 
And if she hadn't had aqua on her, I might have tried to turn her into like some sort of Christmas ornament, but I didn't like that aqua color for Christmas time. Not with my stuff anyway. was checking out this Gemco juicer. These sell pretty well for me. This one was $2.99. It's not the desired orange color. That's what the ones that people really want are because they go with the cute little vintage pictures. I thought these were just so sweet and delicate, but I did not want to spend $10 on the set of them. I loved this little telephone table, desk, whatever you want to call it, secretary. $24.99 I thought was a great price, but I have absolutely nowhere in my house to put it. I loved this antique chair. It was just a beautiful color. I did sit in it. Look at that carving, gorgeous. I sat in it and it wasn't super sturdy on the back. I felt like it was going to break, but for $10, it would be lovely in a house somewhere.
I loved this platter. I think it would be great for Thanksgiving. It was $10 with a sticker from the original place called Bachman's, which is a high-end nursery in the area. They originally sold it for $42. So definitely a good deal for a Bachman's piece, but just not something I needed. But I hope that someone grabs that for their Thanksgiving dinner. This is a home co piece and they had it for 99 cents. I'm sure that this comes from a set of three. I found this other one, but I looked and looked and could not find the third, but these two were pretty cute. I have a few of these carolers. They're always a little alarming looking. <laughs> because their mouths are open and they just kind of look weird but i do know that they're collectible i forget the brand on them they had theirs for 9.99 a piece i only pick them up if i find them at the bins or at another place for cheap I didn't see any prices on any of these pins and I didn't see like a sign in front of them. So I have no idea how much any of these were. And there was a line and I just didn't feel like going through the trouble of asking with the line there. So I didn't get any of the pins, but there were two that I was interested in. I really liked this poodle pin here. That was really cute and definitely had a vintage vibe. And then over here, you'll see a little rhinestone kitty cat. I thought that was really different. Very, very interesting and cute. Okay, I am back in my car, went in shopping. Hope that was fun coming with me. I'm going to share my haul right here because I didn't get too many things and I wanted to be able to tell you what I learned about Able Light. So I talked to the woman behind the counter and she said, as far as like the shoppers are concerned, the only thing changing is the name. All the staff is pretty much the same. And she said, everyone is very excited about becoming an Avalite thrift, thrift shop. And she said, there's 14 of them in the US. This is the only one in Minnesota. And their mission is helping people with disabilities to get jobs. And even in their stores around the country. So actually in, inside they'll do, you know, they'll hire people with disabilities and help train them. And so that's really cool. So I think that's a great mission. I was happy to find that out. Let's go ahead and see what I got. I got a cookie cutter. I do not have this one. This one is not marked. Usually they're like Tupperware or Hallmark. This one's not marked, but I think it's gonna be really cute. I like these cookie cutters and you might've seen on my other, my home and garden channel, when you make these and you get you floured up really well and then you get the stamp in there and the little crevices or the design will hold on to the sugar it makes a really pretty cookie but really easy like easier than having to ice them so i like that and i was happy to add this to my collection because i don't have that one the ornament was tossed in as a free gift she said <laughs> and then this was 99 cents it's a candle snuffer snuffer i always have trouble with that word and uh, I really like the primitive look of this. I do have a few of them at home. This is a little bigger than normal, but I thought that was fine. But I like this handle. I'm not sure what metal it is. It's the color of pewter, but I'm guessing it's probably like, I don't, I honestly don't even know. It's not stainless because it's stained. Maybe it's some kind of aluminum or something. Obviously it's not too hard because they were able to bend it, but I guess they heated it to do that. So I don't know. I don't know the metal, but I like it. And it's the color of pewter. Here's my little collection of candle snuffers. I have some of them in this pitcher and then the rest in the new one laid down here on the shelf. 
Sorry, the lighting's not great, but it's nighttime now. This was my big purchase of the day. I picked up this little bell and it was $1.99. So I was a big spender on this one, but I have about th four, I think I have like four of these. So this will go into my collection. I bring them out for Christmas time. Some of them actually say Merry Christmas on them, but this one does not. And it says, whoa, it says India, made in India. So I just thought that was a cute little addition to my little bell collection. They don't take up a lot of space, which is why I like them. And the last thing I got is the Home Co snowman figurines. I am certain there's probably another one of these somewhere in the store. The Home Co figurines usually come in sets of three, but I could not find it anywhere. These say made in Taiwan, so they have a little age to them, probably the 80s or 90s, and they were 99 cents a piece. So I think they're really cute. And I will put them into a vignette. I have not decorated for Christmas yet. I am planning to start that this weekend, so that will be fun. And you should check my channel. I already started posting my vintage ornaments parade. I'm going to show you a different ornament every day on my community tab. So that's always fun. People enjoy seeing them. And I have a lot of new ones this year because my friend Tammy acquired a box of ornaments from her mother-in-law and they're amazing. So look for those on my channel. That's all that I have in my haul today. Thank you so much for watching. Please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the like button if you like this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Thank you.